All right, everyone, Cody Don here. Welcome back to my laboratory. So, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you might know that I've been wanting to turn this apple tree into a Franken tree. I actually uh, got the tree last year for that purpose, but never got to it, and even now I'm getting pretty late, but hopefully it's not uh, too bad that I can't do it. And as for the sticks that I'm gonna be grafting onto it, I've got these here that were sent over to me by a fellow YouTuber, uh, Skill Colt. And that's actually pretty awesome, because I'm actually a fan of his channel, so. Now I'll definitely put those to use. Here we go. Got me some grafting pliers, which I just dunked in alcohol so I don't have anything transferring over from the cherry trees. I'm sure you could look at his channel for grafting, but I, I do my own little thing here, so let's open these up, get this grafted. Just find one that's about the right size. I don't really care what goes where. I just want a tree that's got all kinds of different stuff, you know? Right, that's probably about right, okay. Still looks alive, even though I've had it in my fridge for a month. I'm just gonna lop this branch off right about here. Now, the worst thing that can happen is uh, I'll end up with a tree that's a little bushier than you'd normally want, so. Okay. Sticks a little small, but it seemed to work out, yeah. Uh, my camera's trying to focus on the trash can behind. Let me see if I can fix that. Stay there. Okay, I should just clean that stick out of there. There we go. Just put this on. Exactly how it fits. So it'd help if I got some tape out first. I'm just using this electrical tape. And they do make grafting tape. I just have been too lazy to actually buy some. <laughs> and it, I find it does work. You, know, you can get that good stretch to it, get it nice and tight. Put it on. That fits a little bit better the other way. There we go. One of these days, maybe I'll get all kinds of equipment for grafting, but I kind of like the DIY stuff. Okay. Get that good and tight. I don't know how tight's too tight, to be honest. But I figure, make sure there's no air spaces in there. Now I'm actually gonna take this stick and pull the leaves off of it. And I'm gonna take a section like that and just kind of support this so that the branch don't break. I forgot to do that on a couple of graphs I did recently and the wind just broke them right off. I need a bit more tape here, just to kind of go around and hold that in place. There we go. And I don't see much wrong with that, yeah? Other than, might not have been in focus. <laughs> For these really little ones, I think I'm just gonna use the whip and tongue graft, where you cut it at an angle. I kind of like that. Could do better, of course and you cut up into it like that, just a little bit. And you do the same thing on the stick that's attached to the tree, and then you just kind of jam them together. Okay. Perfect. Now these graphs don't usually end up looking as good. It seems to work for this smaller stuff. Okay, so here we are about a month and a half later. As you can see, most of the sticks are dead. And yeah, they just didn't take, it was much too hot. But one did survive, so it wasn't all a loss. You can see here, I'm actually gonna loosen the tape today. Yeah, 
I think I'm confident enough to say that I've got at least one graft to take and work. Yeah, I can I can feel the woods fattening up a little bit here, so it is growing together. What kind was this? It was lemon? I know it's not a lemon tree. That's the type of apple. I don't know exactly what that means. I know somebody who would though. Okay, I got curious and decided to take the tape off. There's the joint. I'd say that's actually quite good. The stick is... I can push on it and it doesn't actually flop around or anything. So I might end up putting the tape back. Or maybe just like a piece of cellophane to keep that from drying out. I did kind of tear the bark a little bit there. I just lightly put a single layer of the electrical tape back on. That's probably just fine. So anyway, uh, here's my Franken cherries. See, the fruit is ripe. I got two different kinds of fruit on one tree. It's very nice. Uh, this one, actually, the only one that fruited was the graft. Still a very young tree, though, so I'm not concerned. This is a chestnut tree. <laughs> so anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>